Deus Volt, my fellow gamers. Here we are. I've got myself another unboxing here. It's for Kings of War. We're looking at the Balefire battery. Uh, as far as I know, these things, the, it's a two catapult box set. They're no longer produced. They're in this really nice uh, CD case thing. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I bought this because I didn't want to buy the bigger set, like the $100 or $80 set or whatnot, that has two of these in it with a bunch of redundant units. Now, with Undead, you know, you're probably going to buy the redundant units anyway, but uh, this isn't for game purposes, really, for now. This is just for me to have the catapults. I remember back in the day, the Screaming Skull catapults. Uh, they were fantastic little sculpts. Uh, these things are interesting sculpts as well, but let's break into it. Now, this is new old stock. The, now, I haven't opened this myself, and I don't think it's... It hasn't been opened by anybody. It's just this bottom piece has uh, come off because it's so daggone old. But now, we will free it. <clears throat> Satisfying. Okay. Oh, my poor mummies. I'm almost done with these guys. They're, uh, <clears throat> I put five of them facing forward on the flat bases. Mistake. I since then corrected it and put them on angles so that they would rank up a lot nicer. So, there we go. The back of it shows you studio paint jobs. And in my humble opinion, very bright, very white, very clean for undead. Yeah, it doesn't look like these guys crawled out of the ground at any point, so they were... Or even laying on a battlefield for any man. Man, look at how bright that tunic is. It might be a little bit ripped up, but that dude, he's using downy. He's got he's got it right, man. Jiminy Christmas. I mean, I guess the birds and uh, coyotes and stuff were very nice to him when they were picking his bones clean and, and really didn't step or poop or anything on his clothes. They're just... They're so clean. Man, look at it. Uh, anyway. Uh. All right. Woo. Okay, so uh, very, very simple here. I, I suppose, since this is the first time I've looked at this kit. Oh man, that's interesting. That's, uh, <clears throat> Made in England by Renidra. Renidra. Hmm. Maybe they had this stuff outsourced. Of course, they, they must have. There are no... Wait a minute. There are. I lied. Okay. Those are cute. Little two bases. That's cute. Okay, so they do have those bases. And the detail work is pretty nice, actually, for uh, for these. Pretty nice detail showing through. The wood grain on the back of that shield is pretty excellent. Yeah, so the ribs are sticking through pretty good. Uh... Okay, and they give you options. Uh, that's interesting, too. All right, so here you've got the head and torso of one dude. And here you got the head and torso of another dude. But here you've got a head and there you've got a torso. So I guess you can switch them out if you don't want a dude with a sword or a dude looking creepy holding some ammunition. Then you can choose to have a different guy, a more different guy. So, okay then. Now there's the crew. And here you've got your Pult of Katas. It's kind of nice. They give you a little sack of ammo. Uh, once again, good detail. This is a hard plastic kit. I was actually expecting Rustic. And do not think I'm disappointed. Uh, I'm very happy having a hard plastic kit. Extremely happy. Yeah, the... 
Uh, detail's nice. Um, you know what's crazy? Like, the skulls in here are much smaller than the skull is planted in there. And the detail's not as nice for the skulls as it is on the the undead models in here. Those skulls are, are much nicer. Much more crisp detail than the skulls that are actually in there. Hmm. Anyway, uh, fun all the same. I don't know where you would put your little sack of skulls if there's a, a place on here. It doesn't look like there's a, a shelf to put your sack of heads. Mm. So you may have to put these guys on their own custom-made base, which I'm a fan of doing that anyway with uh, plastic cards. So, yeah. I think that's what's going to have to happen. So that's excellent. What else do you get in the CD case? So you get a second catapult and crew, some nice foam inserts. Ooh, ooh. And now that's interesting. It's <laughs> the first time I've seen a Mantic Point sticker. Wow. That's a legit sticker, ladies and gentlemen. That's the first one I've seen. And you get two of them. Very generous with their... There's stickers in here. It's nice they give you stickers. <clears throat> but I don't think I'm going to use them. Uh, I'll use the Mantic Points for sure and true. But the whole red, white, and blue thing. Very patriotic, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, for both Britain and America. Uh, and for the undead, I'm sure. I think the little... The little heart noses are cute. Are they supposed to be pelvic noses? Anyway, um, I'm just not going to use them. I've never been a fan of stickers. Um, so I think the Mantic Point stickers are cute. But yeah, these I'm just going to go ahead and paint my own. Uh, <clears throat> and they're going to look really rough, really dead, really corroded and gross. So these are cute. Um, but... Yeah, very novel. What's the uh, yeah, 2009 on those bad boys? A few years old. So not too bad, though. Not too bad. I love opening up new old stuff. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. What's this? There's, man, there's pamphlets and stuff. There's, oh my gosh, what, what else do I get with these catapults? All right, some Kings of War. A rash shall be terrible and beautiful to behold. Yeah, okay, elves. <laughs> no one's afraid of you, elf. Okay, so this is this is cool. This is another Mantic Points card. You can just stick your Mantic Points on here. I have one with a um, Plague Lord 1A on it. And so that's cool. Even though it's got an elf on it. Ooh, yeah, that's awesome. Look, look at how happy that is. See the thing with the undead? They're always happy. Oh, what? What is it? This is cool, man. It's a pamphlet. It's... Oh, my God. It's a fold-out boogie thing. It is talking about the undead and stuff like that. Do I have a poster? I have a poster. What? Okay, that's cool. And it's got... Alright, here, I'm gonna... Sorry about the vertigo, guys. Yeah, that's right. I got a poster for the undead. What, what? That is cool. And actually, the thing that got me into this particular undead army was Homegirl right here. The, the limited edition model of him with this dog. Because that's cool. Or, I say limited edition. It's like the direct only. Man. Yeah, sweet. I'll have to put that up. I have to frame it and put that up in, the, you know, above the gaming table because that is cool and very unexpected. Very unexpected. Out of just buying some Balefire catapult, uh, really nice and crispy, fresh too. Love it, man! What an unexpected little treat. 
pretty rock awesome. What is on the other side here? Oh, we have instructions of some sort. Okay, and find the good stuff. A few extras of each of our sprues. Yeah, nice. Assembly instructions. Yeah, you need to learn how to assemble the undead. I hope I have that model. I think I think he, he's probably one of the catapult crew, and I'm going to build him because he is the happiest guy ever. Look how happy he is. A very happy gentleman. Well, who who uses downy on his clothes? Look at that. No spots, no stains, no... <clears throat> no weathering. But very happy. And somehow he was able to keep his tongue. The eyes, you can assume, are some kind of luminous material, but tongue. Yeah, being able to keep a tongue with, with no other hair or flesh or whatnot, that's impressive, bro. So maybe he, he kept his mouth shut tight. Who knows? But awesome. What a great little little thing here. And they talk to you about Mantic Points. So, you know, this is when the company was virgining and it was uh, new sauce, I, I think. Anyway... So they, they included kick butt stuff like this. Yeah, I'm I'm very glad that I chose this over the the bigger set. Uh, with all the extra skeletons and zombies and stuff. I'm, I'm glad I chose this. I'm glad I was able to get it. Because I got a poster, dude. Alright, well, that's it for now. Uh, you guys take it easy. Carry a laser. Bye-bye.